Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm sorry you guys are off center. That's, you're just, you're on my dashboard. My car is not level. But thank you so much for tuning back in to another video, guys. Welcome back. Let me take this off so you guys, you guys can see me. But yeah, guys, coming back at you with another video for the third time that I've just, I've just said that to you. But yeah, I remember you have all been telling me that you want to see more around Bozeman videos. And now that the weather's getting nice, you can tell. I mean, I'm trying not to sweat too hard for you guys right now. But the weather's getting nicer. I would like to do that for you. So I'm here in Midtown right now now for those of you who don't know midtown is kind of like a newly defined a newly named district in bozeman at least it was newly named like a few years ago but it's definitely an urban renewal area this used to be kind of like an industrial kind of rundown part of town and they're like most cities you know revamping it renewing it and trying to bring a bunch of new like architecture new properties all that kind of stuff into this area so we're gonna see a little bit of it today it's a nice day and it's not too hot even though i'm sweating like crazy right now so here we go. Um, fun fact, my dad worked here when I was like, it wasn't Lionheart, obviously, but when I was like really, 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 really little, um, my dad worked in these office buildings. I mean, I was like really young, like maybe like three or four. Don't ask me what he did because he didn't work there for long and I have no idea. But I remember coming here a lot when he was working and you know, he would watch me. I think he worked more in these buildings over here. But I remember playing, I'm like, there's like a park over here somewhere. I remember playing over there, yeah. I wanna start this off with like one of the lesser known parks in Bozeman. And it's like right on like a main strip, as you can tell. People probably gonna be looking at me like crazy, but it's right here on this main strip. And not really sure how many people visit it, but let's check it out. So, I know it's not much of a park, it's not very big, but I constantly complain how there are no like squares or little like town centers in all the, all the districts that Bozeman has. And I mean, this is a park this is, and it has a bench. It has places where people can sit. So I guess I should take full advantage and kind of chill out. Plus look how, look how shaded this is right now. It's amazing. This is definitely gonna be a spot of future live streams up here so yeah I mean I already kind of like logged out my route and all that stuff so you know it'll be cool to kind of get that started but yeah like I said I don't know how many people tune into that live stream but like they're already getting ready to kind of like make this like they're totally revamping this district I know you're kind of wondering what I'm pointing at they're like the new light fixtures with like the spots for banners kind of like how they do in like a lot of downtown areas so be ready to see it be ready to see it Not gonna lie, it's still not the best side of town. You can polish up an area all you want, man, but it's kind of hard to completely change it. here and check out and see if there is any graffiti. This side of town used to be known for all sorts of uh, beef going on, like street beef. I'm cool, I'm sorry, in your territory. I come in peace, I promise. Okay, and this is the first one I've seen. That smells beautiful, that's all I gotta say. But it's in red. It's in red. Dude. It's 
so I'm not going to show too much of this place. But I just got to say, it's kind of a shame because the rest of Midtown is undergoing serious improvements. Well, I just could have kept walking straight up through here. But this hotel, the hotel that I was showing you, is just like, I feel like it's even gotten substantially worse. It used to have a pool out front that's gone. I don't want to show people. I don't want to show where people are staying at. But it also had Santa Fe Reds, which is like a lot of people's favorite Mexican restaurant in town. And it could stay open, I think, closed during the pandemic. So, yeah, a lot of stuff has been changing over here. All right, everyone. So we're pulling up to a different spot in Midtown right now. So this used to be Vans IGA. It's at Universal Athletic. I don't think it's open right now, unfortunately. Yeah, it's closed before. But uh, it's kind of split into a bunch of different places. This is kind of a prime example of how Midtown is kind of being, like, rebuilt like city brew which is kind of like a form of the new architecture that building which we'll go check out here in a second and this whole area right here and pretty soon i'm sure we'll see this strip mall right here get a facelift i mean all the businesses are great they do great work it's just it's a very very old building you know and i kind of often forget about it you know other than the fact that the camera store is right there and then one of the many dispensaries that i don't even know about that exists in this room this spot would be really sick for like an urban snowboarding sh like scene like shot figure something out on it i don't know you either need a winch or if you're coming in from this side you can anchor on that post right there i don't know i wouldn't want to like bend it or rip it out of the ground but it's kind of cool a lot you can do well i mean i don't know if there's a lot you can do but you can do something but also one of the main points for coming over here is this like like something i just showed you this also used to be a really bad area for a lot of like tagging like the non-artistic kind of tagging you know what i mean um so kind of curious how much exists over here i'm not seeing any over here so far as weird as this sounds uh this part of bozeman kind of makes me feel like i'm in a city sometimes i don't know why it just kind of does so yeah. We just never know. Oh, here we go. I don't think any of this is affiliated. This is just, this is just good graffiti. Damn. What's up, Bozeman? Okay, I see you. That's pretty cool. That's pretty sick. I mean, like, I'm not trying to promote like vandalism, I'm really not, but as someone who kind of has a past of like writing graffiti, I think that's kind of sick. You know, this just looks like graffiti art. This isn't like, this isn't claiming anything or, bro, this is sick. I shouldn't be talking it up, man. I don't want to be promoting vandalism, but. I think graffiti is kind of cool. I mean, it has like a very urban look to it, especially in this neighborhood, you know? But uh, you won't hear me like talking up and promoting like the violent kind of graffiti, if you know what I mean, for lack of a better term right there. So. Damn, man, what happened right there? Like all broken glass right there. Like Is this what I'm telling you, man? Like, it's, it, it, it just, this side of town just kind of has that vibe. Look at all the snowboards, dude. Yeah. What's up? Ow. Yeah, dude, without a doubt, uh, Hemlock Street is definitely, like, the skid row of Bozeman. I'm not trying to, like, you know, talk a lot of, like, hate or smack, but that's just kind of, like, the reality of it. So, yeah, fun fact for y'all. Nothing behind this wall, but, dude, check this out. I don't know where you would anchor, but, like, if you'd probably have to have a winch, but it'd be really sick to kind of do some type of snowboard trick down here. 
That'd be really epic. That would be a sick rail. I don't know about that middle part right there. It looks patched up, so maybe not the best spot. But over here, I don't know what you could really be on it, honestly. What you thinking? You know. But, yeah, really cool spot. I took my hat off because it was hot. It is hot, but here's some of the newer buildings going up in the Bozeman, Midtown area. Not really sure exactly what's up in here, what businesses are there, but right over here is the self-proclaimed Montana's first social club, the Ponderosa Social Club. It's got like multiple lanes of bowling, all sorts of cool stuff going on in there, you know? So it's a really cool spot. I haven't gone there yet, but there's another cool place called Bourbon right down the way and it's a really cool restaurant almost like gastro pub if you really think about it but yeah this is a this is a sick spot take a look at like what these crosswalks and paths and everything look like it's exactly what the rest of midtown is going to be like in the next few years so Another classic example over there of some of Bozeman's new architecture that's going up. I mean, that looks like a building straight out of like the 1800s, but right there, it's a new, new midtown building going up. Pretty cool. All right, this right here has to be like one of my favorite things of Bozeman. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it though. The Bozeman Montana mural. It's like a staple of Bozeman that might just not ever go away. Y'all are looking at the first namesake staple that kind of like kicked off this district's name. The Midtown Tavern. I don't even know if it's still open though. I haven't seen anything coming from business out of this place in a while, but. Now we're gonna get into the, this is like the first major block that's gonna look like how Midtown's gonna look. You know, first major sidewalk at least I should say. So, got Audrey's Pizza Oven and Brewery and Free Call Brewery. Dope spot, I highly recommend. All right guys, so I'm just making it back. It was extremely hot outside and it's crazy because it's not even as close to as hot as it's gonna be this summer, but I showed you guys a good bit of Midtown. Now, surprisingly, that's not even close to all of Midtown, which means I'm gonna go back there and show you the rest of it someday. I gotta figure out a game plan of how I wanna do it, what time of day I wanna do it, because it's probably the least shaded area of all of Bozeman, of all of Bozeman's new, new neighborhoods, new districts, all of that stuff. And like I've said in so many other videos, it lacks like squares, public spaces, all that kind of stuff. But we're gonna figure it out. I'm gonna show you guys the rest of it because it's honestly, it's one of my favorite like new up and coming districts that's kind of taken off in Bozeman. But if you made it to the end of this video, I more than appreciate it seriously because this is kind of like what I'm gonna be trying to do. I'm not sure how many cinematics I did. So, you know, just kind of bear with me on that. But I'm trying to figure out exactly how I wanna film this around Bozeman scene. If I wanna do it kind of like cinematic, like I'm gonna be doing my paranormal videos and I haven't quite decided yet. So. Like I said, bear with me and keep that in mind for the future because these are probably gonna be changing and the format's gonna be changing, but you know how it goes. But please smash that like if you like where this is going and you enjoy that video. I'd really appreciate it. And leave a comment down below because you know it helps the algorithm and helps my videos get in circulation and I just really appreciate that from all of you guys. So until next time, I'm out. I filled up my life.